This wonderful thing is the Vanda Electric Dendrobium, right? Can you talk about the concept behind this car and what we want to achieve with this? So this, this car, actually, the design of the car was um, the initial sketches came out in about 1996 and was always envisaged to be a electric car, you know, and, and we revisited this probably in 2006, 2007, around that time, but we were really waiting for technology to catch up. So central to the initial sketches was, the it's the teardrop shape that, you know, forms around the cockpit and ends in the tail, but um, this, this feature was something that was in the initial designs and, you know, at that point in time, I think technology, electrification technology wasn't advanced enough for us to be able to build a car like this. And at the time is right now, you know, in terms of technology, design, engineering, for us to be able to come out with something like this. So the design of this car is actually inspired by nature. Uh, so in it, you'll see a lot of peaks and valleys and you'll see a lot of um, uh, honeycomb structures or honeycomb shapes that, that go throughout the car. Uh, the doors itself, automatic roof and door, open and synchronized manner to uh, well, it's inspired by a fully bloomed um, dendrobium flower, which is a genus of orchids that's native to the region that I come from, which is Singapore. So the interior is actually geared towards the uh, the driver, right? Actually, the whole car is designed with the driver in mind. Um, so if you see when the doors open it's e and the roof opens, it's easy for the driver to get in and out of the car. And if you look at the panels, they are all geared towards the driver as well. The seats actually um, are designed so that they wrap around the driver when, when the driver is driving. And the design on the seats actually embody muscle fibers. It's, it's sort of like when the driver is inside, it's, it's man meat machine in a way, you know, where he becomes one with the car. I mean, this is, this is really the, the story and the philosophy behind the car that, that, you know, within good design, good engineering, you know, good technology, at the end of the day, it's still about the human being. So you partner with Williams? Yeah, we're engineering. delighted to have a we're delighted to have a you know um, to have engaged Williams Advanced Engineering as our technical partner for the car to help us look at the aerodynamics, help us look at some of the engineering, uh, the structures, lightweight structures. You know, I mean, a, a lot of the our core competencies. You know, and electrification as well. I mean, when we designed this car, also we had uh, motorsport functionality in mind. So there was an inspiration. For you know, of, of motorsport functionality within the car. So if you look at it, you can actually see the exposed suspension, the um, double, the rear double diffuser, front splitter, um, aerodynamic floor as well. You know, so so all of this actually has been thought through. Did anyone take this car on a racetrack? Well, this is meant as a two-seater all-electric sports car. You know, we designed this for someone to drive. Um, we designed this as a road car rather than a, a track car. But you know, we can probably at some point take it on the track and see what happens. Yeah, I think people will love to see that. Yes. Love to see it in action. Can you give us some some general specs, like top speed? Yeah. So, so uh, this is currently a concept car, but it's a dynamic concept car. Uh, if we do go into production, we will. Uh, I mean, the performance targets are top speed in excess of about 200 miles per hour, and it will go from zero to 60 miles per hour in about 2.7 seconds. It's crazy fast. Well, you know, I mean, this is this is the day and age of, of, of uh, hypercars, isn't it? So, exactly. and and to be able to push the boundaries in terms of electric cars, you know, in, in uh, like a sh into a shape like this, and to be able to hit certain um, targets, I think is is what Vander is about. You know, we're we're a small team, we're a new team from Singapore, but our ethos is about pushing boundaries all the time and always running um, on the edge. So now you're gathering feedback about the car. You're Reactions. Yes. So you will decide at a later point if you want to. Yeah, we will decide. Right? That's right. So we will decide after Geneva uh, if we do go into limited run for this. Uh, it will be, you know, in, in the small numbers anyway. So it's going to be very limited. Yeah. Very expensive, I presume. It will be in the seven figures. Seven figures. That's right. Okay. So you have like a lot of competitors on the floor here. Um. We didn't design this to compete with anybody. You know, we ourselves are consumer of design, and you know, like I said, this this is really something that's been on the drawing board for about 20 years, and we wanted to realize a dream as well. Its ultimate goal is to raise awareness of 
what Wanda is doing. Dendrobium is our halo project, and it is to raise it is to raise awareness about de, um, you know about um, Vanda Electrics uh, as a company, but it's also to showcase you know the fact that you can push the boundaries when it comes to design, engineering, and technology at the same time, and it is possible to build you know a car that is not a traditional shape but still looks spectacular. Really does. Thank you.